Notice how sometimes things aren't quite the way they seem? This hairpiece looks seriously me in the shop. I bring it home and it's all wrong. I'm all out for trying new things, but sometimes you've got to know what you can handle and what you're not quite ready for. After what happened to me, I'm an expert. Come on, Kenny. Now focus, people. When are we going to do our Trojan horse assignment? It's due in on Monday. We do it Saturday. Sounds good to me. No way, that's the day of the riding, riding competition. competition. How could we forget? Thanks, Mr. S. You're welcome. I've been banging on about it all week. They've put me up a grade, and I'm really freaking out about it. You'll be brilliant, Linz. You've been practicing for weeks. I just don't know if I'm ready. I mean, I'll be up against Penny Scott. And you know Did you say Penny Scott? You'll be fine, Linz. Anyway, this group assignment is 30% of our year's grade, so it's really important we do a good job. We could make a start and Linz could come along and add a bit in later. After the riding call. Did you say Penny Scott? Earth to Felicity. Satellites frozen, communication scrambled. <laughs> Penny was Ryan's sister. If she was competing, her gorgeous brother could be there too. Linz, you'll need my support on Saturday. I'll be there to help you out. You will? I know how important this is to you. Fliss, you do realise there's mud and hay and horse when you're at the stables. All for a good cause. So what do we know about the Trojan horse? <sighs> Not much. It was a big wooden horse filled with soldiers who planned a surprise attack on Troy. Why did they need so many soldiers for just one man? Um, mm -hmm. Troy was a city, not a person, Kenny. I knew that. I'd love to. Any time. He's so adorable. I don't like the sound of this. Oh, the little kids love me. I'm a natural. <laughs> natural what? A <laughs> natural disaster. <laughs> Sorry, when was that? Tomorrow. Hold the bus. Love to. No, 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 no. Fine. See you then. <gasps> Relax, girls. Mrs. C's working with Mum this weekend, and her babysitter just called in sick. What about our Trojan horse? I think it just hit a hurdle. <sighs> I promised I'd help groom the horses before the comp. It would be great if you could give me a hand. No problem. This is going to be messy, you do realise. Don't worry about it. Are you sure you don't mind? Would I be wearing these shoes if there was a problem? They're last seasons, so who cares about them? Right. Well, in that case, welcome to the world of horses. Why, thank you, I think. I owe you for this. You're not the biggest horse fan in the world, so thanks. It's cool. You never know, it might even be quite interesting. like a popular place. Mm. Everyone's here. It's a big competition. Lots of hot riders. We'll be up against it, won't we, Hedy? Nervous? A bit. Oh, don't worry about it. The blue ribbon will go great with that shirt. Grab a brush. Start anywhere. Hello, girl. See the gorgeous fringe? Well, she has. Oh, 
this. <laughs> the horse is this way. Oh, mm -hmm. What did I tell you? Little Peter is in good hands. Frankie loves playing big sister. I wish. Now could be your big chance. See if you're up for the job. No problem. And then can I have a baby brother or sister? <laughs> I'm only joking, Frankie. I'm not. How about my sister? Sell you Molly then? Here we have a prize mule, affectionately known as Molly the Monster. 16 years of age, stubborn, annoying, plenty of attitude. If anyone's in the market for a sister with grunt, this one's for you. <laughs> Well, we'll see what kind of a scorecard Peter gives you when we get back, hmm? Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Look, he likes me already. You little baby Alba, you're so cute. Call me old-fashioned, but I was hoping to pass history this year. Perhaps we should change topics. Forget the Battle of Troy. What about motherhood in the Middle Ages? Come on, guys. This is a chance to try something new. Anyway, this little cutie pie isn't going to get in the way. What did you just call him? Look, we feed him, we put him down, we rewrite ancient history. Sounds so simple. If there's a problem with the baby, I'll handle it. Trust me, I'm good. She's an expert with babies. Frankie was so confident about something she knew very little about. Meanwhile, I was feeling confident that if I didn't catch sight of Ryan Scott soon, I'd die of boredom. I think I need... Um, a brush. What's wrong with that one? Uh, too small. Here's a big one. Not that big. I'll be back in a minute. Well, at least she's trying. What's that smell? Yeah, yeah, laugh tub. <gasps> Under the circumstances, Linz had dealt with the fact that the M&Ms would be earning money at the riding comp pretty well. No, 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 no way! Knew you'd be pleased for us. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, well, paintball doesn't come cheap, you know. So, what's your excuse? I'm in the jumps team. So we did the slave stuff while a girl gets the limelight. That sucks. Everyone knows girls can't ride. Then everyone's almost as thick as you. Well, they can't. You tell her, my man. They just kind of prance around and worry about their hair. Oh, I chipped the nail. <laughs> well, I'm a girl, and I can ride better than all three of you added together. Big deal. You could never get the hang of it. I was a better rider than you, and I still am. <laughs> you are so absolutely full of it, Michael Collins. One horse not in the family's bad enough. Come on, guys. I was thinking we could start looking through this one. It's got good illustrations, and um, it describes some of the sort. Are you listening to a word I'm saying? I think he just smiled at me. Or more like he just burped at you. Look, we'll do the assignment after I've given him some Yummy, squirmy lunch. He's actually going to eat that goo? Of course. Then he'll have a nap. All kids sleep after lunch. Are you sure about that? OK, you run the crèche, we'll start reading up. I suppose you think that's funny. <laughs> no, what's wrong? The m &Ms. Moron, Muppet and Munchkin. Oh, yuck. Exactly. <sighs> Did you find the brush? I'm going to sign with him. Ah, uh, it. Him? It. The brush. Thingy. What are we talking about here? Don't tell me. This brush has blonde hair, brown eyes and happens to be called Ryan Scott. No way. Or at least partly. <laughs> I should have known. What? It's not like I'm going to marry him. 
I just wanted to know if he was here, that's all. So helping me was a scam. Linz. Scary competition staring me in the face. I'll give you a hand to get ready, Linz. What phone are you only here to see Ryan? That's totally not fair. Really? You're still wigged out about the M&Ms, that's all. Go find Ryan, Fliss. You and horses, I should have known better. I can handle horses. I did pony club. Yeah, when you were five and mummy was holding the reins. For her information, I did a whole year at Pony Club. I can handle the horses just as well as any of them. Someone give me a hand here. You're doing fine. It's heavy. Hang in there. Only a couple more to go after that one. Remind me, why are we doing this? Just think cash. Think paintball. I think I'd rather be where she is. What happened to girls can't ride? Keep working. It doesn't look like she'll be chipping a nail anytime soon. Oh, what's the big deal? She's just showing off. It's neat. That stuff is so easy. If she had to do any real riding, she'd lose it. Are you saying you could do that then? In my sleep. In your dreams, more like it, Michael. Oh, I, I'm a better rider than she is any day. Any day? How about today? Frankie was beginning to realise she was seriously out of her depth. Meanwhile, Sapphire and I were getting on like a house on fire. What are you doing? Grooming her. What does it look like I'm doing? But that horse has to compete tonight. They'll never get all that junk off her in time. Junk? This is high fashion, Liz. Liz. What? She's bound to jump better now she's colour coordinated. <laughs> Fliss, you're my friend forever, but you're truly, truly useless. Thanks. Look, just forget about it. Nice try, but forget it, OK? You may as well just go home. I was here to help, and I'm going to help. Fine. I need to take my horse back to the stable. I'll do it. Or don't you think I can? All yours. I'll go get us a drink. Sisters, friends forever, all for one. Absolutely. Rosie, go help Frankie check his nappy. All right. But only to stop it from crying. Ah! The baby! Ah! Oh. Quick, Frankie! I suppose you think that's funny? Bless, here's your drink. I got your favourite. She'll look normal and horsey again in no time. You put a heap of work into it. The fringe was all wrong. The braiding was cool. She liked it? I never would have thought of doing it that way. Uh-huh. What does that mean? It means I'm freaking out about the comp, OK? I would too. You can get started on Hedy next if you like. Just stay away from the glitter, OK? Consider it done. Let's go. <gasps> she was here! She was right! 
in here? How did she get loose? I don't know. Oh, this can't be happening. You didn't tie her up properly. I did. I swear I did. Look, don't panic. She can't have gone far. As it happened, we didn't have to look too far to find Hedy. Would you excuse me for one moment? I just have to strangle my brother. He's all right. Michael, yeah. all right. He's pretty good. Now that's what you call a rising trot. That's not a rising trot. That's a sack of potatoes. Get off my horse. As if you know. As if you would. I've seen your trot and it's lousy. It's only twice as good as yours. Oh. You wish. In fact, anything you can do on a horse, I can do better. And you know it, so get off. I'm like what? Get saddle rash. <laughs> <laughs> Put it this way. I'm in the competition team. You shovel dung for money. Say no more. Rear. You get all the ribbons, but I can take you on any day. <sighs> Loser. Once round the cross country, then. Yeah. yeah. What do you say, leftover girl? Give me back my horse, and you're on. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be sorry you challenged me. But do you believe me now? I did tie Hetty up properly. And they'll make him pay for the both of us. Don't you worry about that. That would be a start? Oh, just a start. After that, he's going to eat my dust. Linz was now in mega competition mode. Kind, compassionate Linz has turned into some kind of scary avenging angel. That's a bit cruel, isn't it? Making her do all the riding? Be sure to tell her which end of the horse points forward. <laughs> Mind you, don't chip a nail. Felicity. I was not going to stand by and let the Collins family make fun of Fliss Sidebottom. I'd show them. Riders ready? Ready. ready. I'll be waiting for you at the finishing line, loser. Yeah, well, don't cry when I beat you. Set. Go! Smelly problem. Should have let him roll away. Kenny! Oh dear. That's what I was afraid of. Guess what, team? I just quit. Take me with you. Work with me here, girls. Oh no. I only came here to do a history assignment. Likewise. You're the hot shot baby expert. I'm natural with babies. Okay, I admit it. Babysitting is hard work. Help! Is that a cry for help, I hear? By Jove, I do believe it is. Who would have thought? This was a big deal. Frankie never, ever admits to being wrong or needing help. Ah! I, on the other hand, am not so reserved. Help! Is that Fliss? Is this some clever diversion you've dreamed up to get out of losing? Get real, you idiot! Then what is she doing? How should I... Nappy sack. <laughs> Nappy sack. Ugh. Rubbish bin. Rubbish bin. <sighs> we did it. Listen to how quiet it is. I know. Isn't it beautiful? Look, he's finally asleep. Oh, no! Shh! Mum will be home any minute. We've got to get back and clean the house. Grab the gear, people. We're out of here. In there. 
Yep, the house was trashed. Even Frankie could see that this may not be the most convincing argument for a baby sister. Let me see. So far, I nearly killed myself, almost flattened Ryan, and made my best friend do something seriously dangerous to save my neck. Good one, Felicity. I'm a complete idiot. I'm so sorry. Pony Club really was a long time ago. It probably wasn't your cleverest move. You could have really hurt yourself. Thanks for saving me. My pleasure. I owe you big time. And Hetty. She did all the work. <laughs> Thanks, Hetty. You're a star. Oh, and I realised something. It actually wasn't your fault Hetty wasn't tied up. Hooray! An apology. I guess it freaked me that you're more interested in Ryan than in helping me. Ryan? Ryan? Do I know someone by that name? You ought to. You got that far from flattening him. Oh, him. Do you think he noticed? <laughs> I'd love to babysit again next weekend, Mr. C. No problem at all. <gasps> See you. Lynn's you're a total hero. Not likely. You should have seen her. Awesome, Lynn. I only did what anyone would have done. Leaping a huge fence and grabbing Fliss's reins in midair? I'd say that's hero material. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't quite like that. And after all that excitement, she still managed to win the tournament. <laughs> Two Lynn's. Champion horsewoman. And to Frankie, champion babysitter. <laughs> Cheers! Where did you get to with our history assignment? Where did we get to with that, Frankie? We may have got a bit distracted. We? Oh, <laughs> but it's definitely on the agenda for tomorrow. And this time, we're all sticking to the job. I'm a hero, remember? Oh. <laughs> oi! Oi! I'm not dressed for a battle yet. <laughs> Sometimes you need to try stuff out to realise there is no way in the world you'll ever do it again. And if you can try that stuff out without endangering your best friend's life <laughs> or ending up with baby goo everywhere, <laughs> that's even better.